Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Clara. For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing and I hope that you enjoy my content. Today's video is going to be a collab video with a relatively new friend. Her name is Bella and her channel name is Beauty on a Budget. And Bella loves to do drugstore um, makeup. That is her forte. That's what she really enjoys. She creates beautiful looks. She likes to share with us good deals that she finds. She does hauls, unboxings, tag videos. Um, she does um, her empties and let's see, her monthly favorites. So she's a well-rounded channel. I really do enjoy her content. She is very supportive and a very sweet friend. Every year she creates um, in Christmas, she creates five look tags and she picks five different friends f from YouTube that are also creators and she does a video with them. So I was blessed that she asked me to create a video with her on one of the five days. So I get day number three and in honor of her beauty on a budget, I'm creating everything as drugstore on my face and I didn't have to go buy anything. Now the palette is something new, but I already had it before she even asked me to do this video with her. And the palette that I'm going to be using is from BH Cosmetics and it's the Naughty palette that they released for Christmas. And even though this is a Christmas packaging, the inside, really this is an all around palette. It does not have a mirror. But these are the colors and the palette. And this is gorgeous. This is such, such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. And there's so many possibilities. So I decided to go ahead and use this today. I have not used it before. This is the first time. But, um, I mean, it looks amazing. So I'm going to scoot you up closer. And we're going to get started with our look. All right, guys. So I got a little closer to you. Um, Let's disregard my dark circles. They're in full force and I do have bags under my eyes. I don't know why. I kind of slept pretty well last night. But anyways, I can't pile any more concealer on there. So um, I do have a mirror down here so that I can do this look. And let's get started. So I really don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to start with this color right here. And they don't have any, oh yeah, they do have shade names. This one is called Balsam. No, it's not. It's called Frosting. This one right here that is very um, light, like a light pink. And I'm going to start with that on my crease. And I already primed my eyes with the um, Gerard Cosmetics Eye Primer, which I love that. And then I used a um, little bit of powder. This is very powdery, by the way, so I suggest to tap your brush because it is powdery. It's pretty though, it's pigmented too. So it's gonna go to the wrong one. Yeah, so Bella is very sweet, she's from the UK. And um, I love the looks that she creates. They are just gorgeous. She has um, beautiful hair, beautiful skin. She's very kind, very sweet. I really do enjoy, um, you know, talking back and forth with her and watching uh, her videos. And she creates beautiful, beautiful looks. And um, like I said, affordable. She likes to also review perfumes and give you suggestions as to um, affordable perfumes that you may enjoy. She just actually recently did a, a video on perfumes that she enjoys and that they're pretty affordable. So I will link her channel below and also her video, her um, collab video with me. All right, I'm going to go now into this one right here that is um, like a darker, and this is called Yuletide. I like the names. I like palettes that have pretty names that are not vulgar. I don't understand why some, I'm using the same brush, why some um, brands 
feel that they have to use sexual names. You know, that is so unnecessary. A lot of the people that buy their products are young girls and I don't I just don't think that that's something that they should be doing. And I'm not a prude, but I think there's a time and place for things and I don't think makeup needs to be have names like that. I enjoy brands that actually use nice names. I have not used BH Cosmetics in a long, long time, Jay of the Truth. It's probably been at least a couple of years since I purchased or um, used any of their eyeshadows. And uh, I actually just received, I'm going to use a different brush. and uh, This is a Refer 01. And I'm going to go into this white or cream shade right there and that one is called merengue um a friend of mine we just did a another collab i just did another collab and it was um exchanging advent calendars 12 day uh, advent calendars and the person that sent me my advent calendar sent me a bh cosmetics uh palette which is beautiful and it's one that i had been looking at but had not purchased so it's kind of like she read my mind and you know another brand that is really excellent is la girl i love their blushes i love their eyeshadows all right i think i want to go green i'm gonna go with i'm gonna use this green right here on this one on the outside on the outer v and I'm going to get a smaller brush because I just want to pack it in there. I'm, tr I'm going to try not to um, get a lot of fallout. And anyways, um, yeah, it's a beautiful palette. So I can't wait to play with it. This one is called Balsam. I'm going to take this one. It's a little smaller. See if I can be a little more precise. Wish this mirror was taller. Maybe I need to find like a box to put it on or something like that. Because it's kind of hard right now to uh, to look at it. Feel like it's too low. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can fix the problem. Okay, much better. I found a box that I could put my uh, mirror on that works a lot better okay so now I got my brushes all mixed up okay so I'm gonna go back to the first color that I used which is this one right here and kind of go over my crease just to blend everything up I have a patch on this eye that never ever wants to grab pigment doesn't matter what shadow okay I'm going to take this one right here that is called mistletoe this one and put a little bit of it right here on the like kind of going over what I have on my on the outer V but not going all the way in kind of on my lid that is a beautiful green wow that is pretty and it's so buttery it's gorgeous 
very pretty. Okay. Actually, it look it feels like the kind of shadow that if I try to use it with a brush, it will work really well because it feels very very buttery. That is really pretty. How pretty is that? All right, I'm going to take the brush that I used on my crease and kind of go over that line. Okay, now I'm going to take this um, light green and it's called Very Merry. And I'm going to try to use it with a brush. And this is a like a packing brush. And let's see how it works. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so pretty. Really, really nice. I'm going to take the back of it, of the same brush, and just pick on that, um, what was it called? Mistletoe, which is a darker green, and just go, like, kind of define the crease. And then the other side is a lighter one. Kind of, like, mix them together. That is really pretty. That's a beautiful green. going to go into mistletoe and kind of just define the crease that is very pretty okay I am going to find a little here we go this is a pencil brush and it's too bright I'm going to go into this one right here to just go on my inner corner and this is called cheers just a little bit okay now let me fix my boo-boo there before I go any further and I have my concealer and this is the Catrice one drop concealer and I'm just going to put a little bit there. Well, this thing is like all you need is just a little bit. A little bit over here. All these fingers. Okay, this one doesn't have shadow. Make sure I don't have shadow on my finger. Or I'll make the problem even worse. Now for my lower lash line, I am going to take that um, dark green. I'm going to use the pencil brush and I'm going to use this, no, balsam, the matte dark green. And just go over like halfway in and kind of meet the top. Gotta be careful because so powdery will go in your eyes. And that's no fun. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna go into this one right here, the little cream one that is called Meringue. And this is a Luxie brush. And I just want to clean up a little bit. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do with my eyes. Now, um, let's go ahead and do bronzer, blush, and all that. And then I'll do the mascara. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this from Ulta. This is the Ulta brand. And this is a Baked Sculpt and Glow 3-in-1 palette. And um, this is in Tahitian Sunset. 
and it brings a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And it's really, really pretty. So the bronzer is not super dark. I don't like bronzers that are very, very dark. So this works just fine for me. Okay, and then for blush, I want to use one that I just received in my advent calendar from my friend. Her name is Danielle. Her channel is um, Glamburger. And this is in Caribbean Coral. And this is also from BH Cosmetics. And this is very beautiful. It's like a pink and like a peachy on the outside. And you can either use them separately or I guess mix them together. So I'm just going to mix them together today. I thought I heard my husband get home, but I guess not. It's nice. It is not very, um, like, bamming a face pigmented, which I appreciate with blush. I mean, I like for it to have pigment, but sometimes with some blushes, it's like, as soon as you lay it down, it's like, oh, no, no how, how do I blend this now? This one is nice. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the Ulta and use that highlighter. And let me find a brush for that. And this is a MS Miss Glam. And this is a nice um, highlighter. You can build it up, but it's not like, you know, like in your face. And now I'm going to go over the edge with my blush brush so that they kind of blend together. All right, so now for mascara, I'm going to use my Essence Primer and my Essence uh, Lash Princess Mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I lied when I said I didn't have another new product. I do have another new product and this is a new lipstick that um, Maybelline just released and it's the Ultimate uh, line. And is the packaging kind of reminds me of the Huda packaging. And it's a matte lipstick. This is in the shade 609 and they do have them available at um, on Amazon and on the website that is a shade that has a lot of different pretty shades so I'm going to be using a lip liner from NYX and this is in the color ever so Usually the uh, NYX lip liners don't feel dry, but this one feels a little dry. Don't know why. Maybe it's getting old. So this is a shade, I think it's a very pretty nude. And I think it looks pretty with the greenish eyeshadow, which I think would be a nice look for thanks for Thanksgiving. Wow, no, that's past for Christmas. So anyway, this is my finished look. And I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to link Bella's uh, channel and her video also. Please make sure to check her out. You will love her just as much as I do. And let me scoot you back to see not only the video that she is collabing with me, but the other four videos that she's doing with her other friends on YouTube. I think it's going to be very interesting and it's going to be Monday through Friday, um, the week of the 14th through the 18th. So make sure that you watch all of them so you get to know Bella. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Mwah.